talking about music is like dancing about architecture. That's a quotation from Frank Zappa. Frank Zappa inspired me to do these reviews. Uh, he's my favorite composer. I think he's the best American musician. Touches on every genre of music, writes incredibly complex and amazing uh, compositions in different genres, works with some of the greatest living musicians in several different lineups of his bands, and covers the entire breadth of different musical genres. He also subscribed to, he created this philosophy of project object, wherein there is no good or bad or different, everything you make is just part of the same thing. So this is another reason it's arbitrary to do something like music criticism. Uh, if you like something that someone did, then you have to accept that the same person did all the other things that they did. Um, you can say, I liked this part of what you did and you did, but ultimately you either enjoy or don't enjoy someone. Zappa's music. It's if you listen to classical music, if you listen to doo-wop music, if you listen to blues music, if you listen to folk music, if you listen to musical theater or opera, if you listen to progressive rock, if you just listen to rock, if you listen to funk, if you listen to soul, if you listen to like experimental music, he's doing tape manipulation in the 60s uh, and voice stuff that, anyway, so if you listen to any sort of deconstructed experimental or progressive music, you definitely want to be familiar with Zappa. If you listen to music concrete, it's kind of abrasive, like, or ambient music or um, the sort of more experimental forms of electronic music. You listen to things like Aphex Twin, or things like um, I don't know who's better than Aphex Nobody's on the level of Aphex Twin. I'll just leave it at Aphex Twin. If you listen to comedy stuff, you like novelty music or comedic elements in rock. Um, if you listen to just pop music, if you listen to jam bands, if you listen to psychedelic music, um, if you listen to acoustic or electronic, because like he has songs that are amazing acoustic guitar pieces, and he has Jazz From Hell, which is one of the most ahead of its time, purely electronic, Sin Clavier uh, kind of opuses of electronic music. Um, so if you listen to any kind of electronic music, you need to be familiar with at least Jazz from Hell. Um, even if you don't listen to any kind of rock, any kind of experimental, say you just listen to mainstream rap, you should still listen to Dumb All Over probably. Say you just listen to reggae. You should still listen to Lucille's Mess My Mind Up. Um, I like the OG, the Jeff Simmons, better than the, the Joe's Garage. Um, but basically, he covers every genre of music and performs it at a very high level. So, you should listen to every Frank Zappa album. There are a lot of Frank Zappa albums, I understand. So this is going to take you a while. They are all worth listening to, and none of them are boring. He is quite literally the most intelligent person to compose music in the last century. If you're not interested in hearing what that sounds like, I don't understand, but I guess we should respectfully dance to different architecture, right? We respectfully don't, or disrespect, disrespectfully don't don't believe the same things. We don't believe, maybe you do not accept the premise of Project Object. 
you do not believe that everything that someone creates is different iterations of the same statement. Um, that's fine. I wrote a list for you. I wrote a list for everybody. Um, I wanted to rank all of the Frank Zappa albums because I could review any one of these albums and spend a lot of time getting into what I like about this particular thing, but it was intimidating because there's so much Zappa, so it's like how do I communicate to in a, in a way that somebody will actually consume useful information about how to listen to Zappa. So I broke it up into categories. Um, if you have conventional rock tastes and you don't love Frank Zappa, you only have to listen to a few Frank Zappa albums and then you can stop. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to just listen to 60 albums and 50 live albums just to, uh, prove to some loser making a blog in a basement because you can't figure out how to fucking... Let's not go down there. Let's talk about the Zappa albums you need. Um, okay. Everyone. Literally everyone. This is you. Needs to listen to, at the very least, Hot Rats, Overnight Sensation, Apostrophe, Shake Your Booty, Joe's Garage, Zoot Allures, Jazz from Hell. This is the only one that's remotely controversial to me that everybody needs to hear. Jazz from Hell is maybe the most ahead of its time of any Zappa album. It's a masterpiece. Probably do an entire review of Jazz from Hell and explain why I think it has had so much... Uh, impact, or maybe just unrecognition, and it was ahead of its time, and it didn't directly impact things, but he was just doing things 30 years before other people figured out how to do them. Um, and everyone also probably needs Trout Mask Replica, which to me is sort of a Zappa album. That album would not exist without Zappa. He's very much at the helm of it. He produced it. He's literally talking and conducting and counting off on the record. It's kind of ghostwritten by Zappa. To my ears, it's possible that Zappa produced this one album and it happens to sound a lot like Zappa in certain sections and that's merely coincidental and then all the Captain Beefheart albums that Zappa didn't produce, it doesn't have these Zappa sections. I think that's highly unlikely. I think Trump Mask Replica is a collaboration between Captain Beefheart and Zappa. It's by far the best Captain Beefheart record. It's one of the 10 greatest records of all time, if I had to rank all records. Um, so, everyone needs Hot Rats, Overnight Sensation, Apostrophe, Shoot Your Booty, Joe's Garage, Zoodlers, Jazz from Hell, Trap, Mask Replica. Okay? You can stop watching this video now. If you, don't, if you haven't listened to all those albums, go search them. YouTube, you can do that over there. You can pull up Spotify, Apple Music, I'll have these, they're not obscure. Um, and if you start with Hot Rats, Apostrophe, Overnight Sensation, you'll probably like it. If you have just basic rock taste, you'll be like, oh, it's like a little bit more complicated versions of kind of rock formulas that I'm already familiar with. Won't be too jarring. Trout Mask and Jazz from Hell are the only ones that might scare you off of pursuing more Zappa, but I had to narrow it down somehow. I wanted to put 20 albums that everybody has to listen to. I want you to listen to every Frank Zappa live release and every Frank Zappa studio release. It's genuinely what I wish for you. But that's as narrow as an entry point as I can sleep with is those seven records I just named. What I wanted to include in that list, but it was 25 albums that I wanted to include. So this is, you also need to listen to these albums. These albums are just as good as the first albums that I named. They're less accessible, 
or less like direct impact um, influential. So that's why I rank them in this second tier that I'm going to go through right now. Uh, one size fits all. You need absolutely free masterpiece. Waka Jawaka Grand Wazoo. Probably the peak of his improvisational jazz fusion era. Um, some of his best compositions and instrumental jams. We're only in it for the money. Probably his best operatic concept album musical. Um, I wish they did stage productions of this. I think it would be an amazing play. Probably have somewhere. Burt Weenie Sandwich. You need WPLJ. White Pony Lemon Juice. You can play that for anybody. That should be on Classic Rock Radio. Um, Roxy and Elsewhere and Helsinki, you can't do that on stage anymore. And all of the guitars. Okay, this is where live, right? Live, he does just as much that you need as he does studio. I didn't want to put live. I did want to put live in the you have to. But out of um, compassion for people who find Zappa to be polarizing, immature, masturbatory, overly, whatever your criticisms are of Frank Zappa's music. I, I kept live in the second category. So the essential live, if you're just going to get a, dip your toe into the live, I went with Roxy and Elsewhere, the Helsinki You Can't Do That On Stage Anymore. I want you to have all the You Can't Do That On Stage Anymore. Like, I want every one. Um, there's certain ones that are my favorites. I picked one because this is just undeniable. The Helsinki. You need Weasels Rip My Flesh. My Guitar Wants to Kill Your Mama. It again is a song that anybody would love if you put it on. If they like classic rock. Uncle Meat. One of his best albums, another concept kind of musical album. This contains some of his best early writing, um, some of his best guitar playing. King Hong, one of his masterpieces. You Are What You Is, it's one of his later masterpieces. Cruising with Ruben and the Jets is a beautiful anomaly in his catalog that you might actually enjoy even if you don't enjoy the other stuff. I thought about putting Cruising with Ruben higher, but anyway, so yeah, advised, what you actually need to listen to for Zappa is One Size Fits All, Absolutely Free, Waka Jawaka, Grand Wazoo, We're Only In It For The Money, Burnt Weenie Sandwich, Roxy and Elsewhere, Helsinki, You Can't Do That On Stage Anymore, Weasels Rip My Flesh, Uncle Meat, You Are What You Is, Cruising With Ruben In The Jets, Guitar, Return Of Guitar, shut up and play your guitar, son of shut up, and all the guitars. You need those. And you already have Hot Rats, Overnight Sensation, Apostrophe, Shaker Booty, Joe's Garage, Zootalores, Jazz from Hell, Trout Mask Replica. Okay? So that is a good start to listen to Zap. You can turn this off if you haven't listened to all of those albums. Turn this off and listen to those albums. If you have listened to all of those albums, you know that they're very good. If you bothered to go to the second tier, you're now at this point aware, oh, these albums are incredible. Hopefully. If you're not aware of that, you can stop listening. But, since you haven't turned off this video yet, I'm assuming, you also need Chunga's Revenge, Sleep Dirt, Them or Us, Thing Fish, Ship Arriving, Arriving Too Late, Save, A Drowning Witch, and you need a bunch more live stuff. Uh, you need Yellow Shark, the last album you wrote before he died, uh, performed by uh, an orchestra. You need Bongo Fury, it's live with Captain Beefheart, very unique recording. You need orchestral favorites, good live um, classical stuff. Tinseltown Rebellions, great band. 
At this point, you need all of the you can't do that on stages anymore. I can't narrow, because they're all good. They're different bands. Zappa always hired great bands that were suited to the era of the set list that he was playing. So I don't view any of them as being better or worse. They're all great to me. His last show is great. They released it. You should have that. I didn't even put that on the list. But Fillmore East you should have. Zappa in New York you should have. The Philly 76 release they just did is great. You should listen to that. It has awesome black napkins. Um, it has a lot of good stuff. The Halloween 77, Man from Utopia. You need the Mother 70. So you get live... Colony Vegetable, King Kong, Early Mothers. Um, you need Australia 76. That's one of the best archival releases. Uh, they call it like FZOZ or something. Um, Hammersmith Odeon and Broadway the Hard Way. Okay, so you need all of those records in addition to the earlier records that I named. And uh, if you listen to them all, then you have the majority of Frank Zappa's creative music. Um, so go listen to those records. Uh, or you can listen to the other records that I review and notice that Every single one of them, I say, sounds like Zappa, because Zappa touched on every kind of music. Uh, 